Okay, first three questions done. Let's go on to question four. Okay, so question four calculate the x coordinates of the point on the curve y equals 7x squared minus x cubed, which has a gradient equal to 16. Okay, so we've got our gradient equal to 16 and we want to know the coordinate i'll calculate the x coordinates okay so first off we'll do dy by dx and we will get 14 2 times 7 x 2 minus 1 x to the 1 minus 3 x squared 3 times minus 1 minus 3 3 take away 1 2 okay now we can do the gradient is 16, so we will say 16 is equal to 14x minus 3x squared and solve this for x. Um, so we have 3x squared minus 14x plus 16 equals 0, x equals and x equals. Grab in the calculator to do the quadratic solve okay and we have 3 minus 14 and 16 and we have x of 8 over 3 and we have x of 2 calculate the x coordinates of the points that's all we need next one question five uh, find the x coordinates of the two points on the curve with the equation y equals x where the gradient is one find the corresponding y coordinate same question but they want the y as well so we've got y equal x cubed minus 11x plus one and a gradient of 1. So again, dy by dx gives us 3x squared minus 11. Okay, and then when that is equal to 1, we get 3x squared minus 11. So we end up with, is that all of it? Yep, 0 equals 3x squared minus 12. Okay, uh, we can take the factorization of that. We can take the 3 out, so we get x squared minus 4, and so we get x squared is equal to 4 minus 4 minus 4. No, plus 4 when we bring it over to the other side. That's better. Giving us an x is equal to the square root of 4, which is equal to plus or minus 2. Okay, because they want the y coordinates as well, we need to do y equals 2 to the power of 3 minus 11 times 2 plus 1. This gives us 8 minus 22 plus 1 which is minus 8, 9, 2 minus 9, minus 13. We also do it for the minus 2 cubed, minus 11 times minus 2, plus 1. Watching out for 2, 2, we're going to have 8, but we're going to have minus 8 plus 22. 2 plus 1, 23, minus 8 is 15. So we end up with the two points of 2 minus 13 and minus 2, 15, where the gradient is equal to 1. Okay. Question 6 then. Question six, the function f is defined by 
f of x equals x plus 9 over x. OK, x is real, x is not equal to 0. Find f dash, which is the derivative of it. So the first term, x, just becomes 1. And this becomes um, plus 9 times the minus 1 coming down. And it's x minus 1 minus 1. So ultimately get 1 minus 9x to the minus 2, or x squared on the bottom. And then they want us to solve for when f of dash x is equal to 0. So we can say that 0 equals 1 minus 9x minus 2. So let's say 9x minus 2 is equal to 1, leaving us 9 is equal to x squared. And can we multiply that out and up? So we end up with x is equal to plus or minus 3, i.e. the square root of 9. 